Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to create a logo design based on circular grid. As you can see on the screen, I've just created a logo design uh, by using this uh, technique of uh, merging circular grids uh, together, just selecting a part of the uh, circular grid. So to get this shape here and now this is a very simple easy technique that I have used to create uh, these sort of logo designs. So if you want to create a high precision value logo design, so you can use this uh, technique otherwise you have a variety of ways to create uh, the shapes to, uh, just like this. Uh, so let's start now I'm going to share with you how I design this. So first of all I'm creating a new document here and uh, I want to go with these settings now. Color mart is currently the RGB because I'm creating the illuminating effect in this logo design. So I will press OK here and uh, now what I'm going to do, I will create a turn it to around 66% so it will be quite easy for you to look around. And now I'm simply creating a black background layer here and uh, because uh, the black color is the more powerful color where these type of effects uh, um, you can create more boost to these sort of designs so i've just uh, created i've just created this and now press ctrl 2 to lock this layer otherwise you can go from here to unlock all or you can also lock this layer from here as well so now within the next step that i'm going to do i will take this uh, the shape tool here and dragging a simple ellipse here and press shift and now you can drag an ellipse like this and turn the color to white um, the stroke part and I'm going to uh, convert the stroke part to a stroke weight around five points so it's more visible on the screen and now removing the fill, fill color from here so you can see how it looks like now what I'm going to do I will take a copy of this by pressing ctrl C and ctrl F and drag it to right direction so these are the two consecutive uh, uh, circles around here uh, in front of you so now I'm going to select it and uh, press ctrl G to crop it up and now press it uh, take another copy of these of these two uh, shapes together press ctrl c and ctrl f and this time we are going to rotate it around uh, 90 degree angle so it's looking like this now so you have a shape like this uh, these are all aligned but uh, just uh, to show you how you can easily align it if it's not aligned on your way so you can choose this option to align vertically and horizontally and uh, now I'm going to select uh, all these shapes together here and simply taking this shape builder tool otherwise you can press shift time from your keyboard as well and just click on it and here you can define your shape I'm just uh, merging these two parts together here in the same way I will connect these two parts and here in the same way I will connect these two parts and here is the fourth one and I will connect so we, we will get our shape here now before doing anything else you have to ungroup it and now I will remove the extra parts like this uh, and just uh, remove it from here and uh, so you have the shape here now so what I'm going to do I will uh, before doing anything else I want to crop it up by pressing ctrl G and uh, here you can take a copy of this by pressing ctrl C and ctrl F and now just scale it up a little bit like just like this and here I'm showing you here is the another copy which is little bit scaled um, by scaling or in size uh, with this smaller uh, shape and here I will go into the effect section you can choose the blur option from here go to Gaussian blur and you here you can preview it so how it would be look like so I want to go with the 57.5 pixels press ok here and uh, now you can change the color as per your requirement I want to go with the turquoise so and here what I'm going to do before doing this I want to select this one and here you can arrange it and bring to front so it will be you know quite noticeable when we will merge these to uh, align these two uh, in the middle so I'm now I'm going to align it like this here and you can see how the shape is looking like the this is the simple technique that I wanted to share with you now you have 
shape like this you can apply these type of uh, techniques uh, on anything on text on any object that you want to create on any illustration or creatives that you want to create so this is a simple technique that I want to share with you that by using these uh, circular grids you can create different type of logo design so thank you so much for watching if you um, like this tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day and bye bye